Good morning. It's Reverend Mike Capron from the First Presbyterian Church of Elmwood Park. Um, this is the start of Holy Week, Palm Sunday. Um, my sermon today is going to involve looking at some artwork and um, doing some unusual things that probably aren't going to work in this forum. So uh, instead, I'm going to read you a litany of confession that I wrote based on the Palm Sunday text from Luke's Gospel. I'll be reading little segments of Luke 19, 29 to 44, um, offering a, a prayer uh, afterwards, and then counting from one to three to give you a moment to pause and consider before I go on. This will be a, a short one today. Here we go, Luke 19, 29. As Jesus approached Bethphage and Bethany at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Say, the Lord needs it. Lord God, how well you have prepared things, yet we panic. We do not see how it can all work out. Lord, increase our trust in you. One, two, three. Verse 32, those who were sent ahead went and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? And they replied, the Lord needs it. Lord Jesus, it is really so simple. If we would just repeat the things you told us, that would be enough. Improve our memories and increase our faith. One, two, three. Verse 35. They brought the colt to Jesus, threw their cloaks on it, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. Lord, how quickly we adopt the ideas of those around us. They might be good ideas or bad ideas, as long as they are popular. The phrase, monkey see, monkey do, applies to us. Increase our wisdom and our discernment. One. Two. Verse 37, when he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began to joyfully praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Lord, we love anything that is flashy and exciting. We will praise you loudly for your miracles and turn away toward the next glittering distraction, the first chance we get. Lord, please make us faithful. One, two, three. Verse 38. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. That's what the crowd was shouting. Lord, once in a while, we see your holiness and we respond in joy and purity. Multiply such moments, Lord, we would be ever praising you. One, two, three. Verse 39, some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. Lord, there's a little Pharisee in all of us. We think we know better than others or even God. Lord, keep us from judgment. One, two, three. Verse 41, as he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, 
he wept over it. And he said, If you, even you, had known on this day what would bring you peace. But now it is hidden from your eyes. Lord, one look at the world will show us that the human race does not know the things that make for peace. Our relationships are conflicted, wars rage. Lord, please teach us about the peace we so desperately need. One, two, three. Verse 43, he continued to say to the city, The days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment against you and encircle you and hem you in on every side. They will dash you to the ground, and you and the children within your walls. They will not leave one stone on another because you did not recognize the time of God's coming to you. Lord, we always imagine that our current comforts will go on forever. We pretend that we will not age. We expect churches and nations to go on just as they are forever. We would be better off if we were more humble, accepting your amazing gifts, and then gently yielding ourselves to you. Lord, never let us miss the times of your coming, for you come to us in many ways. One, two, three. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Amen. That ends our little devotional for today. I hope you have a blessed Holy Week. Uh, we're having our Good Friday service at 4 o'clock on Friday in Elmwood Park, and you are, are welcome to call in for that. Private message me if you need to know how to do that. And um, Easter is next Sunday, so uh, may you have a great week.